There and back again. A Mythic Tale by Jim Davis. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, my friends. We are playing some standard today, and we are going to get back to Mythic. That's right. That's our plan. Um, season 1 is over. Of course, Bronze to Mythic, we made Mythic. Season 2 starts, and they dump you into Platinum Tier 4. Lord Draken! Shiz 25 already. Question mark, exclamation mark. Question mark, exclamation mark. Feels like yesterday that it was merely one month. Lord Draken, welcome back, my friend. Moderator extraordinary, Lord Draken. So uh, they dump you back uh, lower ranks based on what your rank was. We were Mythic, now we're Platinum Tier 4. And we're starting up again. Uh, we'll take a shot at the Mythic Championship thing. Um, we're not going to try too hard, but, you know, we're going to play a lot of ranked over the next uh, next 23 days. So, what are we playing? We're going to play the White Winnie deck I played at SCG Baltimore. And uh, this deck was very, very good. I think it was the best deck for the weekend by a mile. Um, big thanks to... Oh, God, I got to pronounce his name. Uh, I have to look at it to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Big thanks to Andrew Ellenbogen. Andrew, I hope I'm saying your name right. Andrew Ellenbogen, Pro Tour champion uh, with White Weenie. Helped me out a lot with the deck. Spent about, spent about a half an hour talking to me uh, over Skype. And uh, just going, you know, picking his brain, going over all the deck choices and stuff. And I played um, mostly the list he suggested. One or two changes in the sideboard. But um, deck was very, very good. Very, very, very good. Um, Donna Vanguard's great. Just good, aggressive deck with counter spells in the sideboard um, for the, the Gates decks and the control decks. Uh, good matchup against Soul Tie. Good matchup against mostly everything. And um, two Deputy of Detention. I'm not a huge fan of this card, but it's fine in the main deck. Um, it gets boarded out a lot, but it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. It does its job. Bunch of one drops. Venerated Loxodon's insane. Uh, you know, just the usual white weenie stuff. Cyborg's got Honor Guard, uh, Counter Spells for your Control decks and Nexus of Fate decks. Johnny, Adversary of Tyrants, very, very good against all of these Salt Eye decks. Your plan against them is to have Honor Guard and a Johnny, and uh, you can just use a Johnny to get your creatures above 4 Toughness to survive Finality, outsize their creatures, and just kill them before uh, Crisis matters. Deck's really good. Nothing too uh, nothing crazy here. So let's jump on the ladder. We're doing... Traditional ranked best of three ladder is here. We're gonna play five matches with each deck today. Let's go. Unfortunately, in the open, we came in ninth place on tiebreakers. Sonic, five months. Five months. Man, standard hasn't looked so good. Sonic, thanks for resub, my friend. So yeah, me, Tannen, and Ross came in ninth place on tiebreakers of the Open. Unfortunately, we had the same record, eleven and four, as the sixth or seventh and eighth place eighth place teams, and lost the tiebreak lottery. Uh, I'm gonna keep based on my histories, um, which stinks, but it's still a good tournament. Yeah, so Danto Vanguard is really, really, really good. I think people forget how good Danto Vanguard is. I had one match against Esper Control in uh, in Baltimore last weekend, where I literally played Hunted Witness on one, Adanto Vanguard on two. It's a post sideboard game. My opponent kept seven cards, and my opponent uh, essentially didn't do anything and died. They just had a handful of removal spells and counter spells, couldn't kill my Adanto Vanguard, and I think I cast like one negate also and just killed them. Yes, as for controls on the docket, a lot of things are on the on the, on the docket here. Morning, everyone. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Then back again. Ooh. Generated locks it on so good. Alright, well we're just playing this through here. If they counter it, they counter it. Okay. 
A wizard is never late, Mr. Nobody JP. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Yes, me and John will do more John and Jim show, don't you worry. Alright, just doing it again. Sabotage. Alright, that's fun. Well, I don't witness. They have a wrath of some kind, it kind of sucks, but. Well, that's a main deck negate, so I think negate is very main deckable in this format. Cleansing Nova. Alright. Not a great start here, but... What's up, Sue? Channel's a gold mine! Awesome! Back to Mythic. Yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we're playing best of three, and we're starting at Platinum four. I imagine it will not take that long. Hopefully. I've obviously just cursed myself to it taking forever by saying that, but yeah, negate's a main deckable card in uh, in standard for sure. Holy crap, dude! Hollowed Fountain. Alright, well, we're gonna play Hollowed Fountain. And we're gonna try and attack with everything. And if we, we can flip this thing, we can make a token and get City's Blessing. But. GP Memphis? Nah, I don't go to GPs. Didn't go to GPs much before. I definitely don't want to go to them now, so. All about that SCG tour. Sell the wreckage. Mm. Well. That's bad, obviously. Landing is flipped, though. Settle's not a very popular card in standard right now because, frankly, it's atrocious against all the, um, the Hydroid Crisis decks. But our opponents, opponents going for it. SCG, SCG Con in, in June, of course. Alright, Adanto, you have work to do. Speaking of Adanto, the vanguard of Adanto is here. Alright, so, a lot of chemistry insights, but... Adanto is really good against control decks. Because they... Don't tend to close the game out too fast. Jeskai is better at closing out games because they have Nibmizit, but I actually have a really good answer for Nibmizit here. Not a great answer, but well, 2000 they used to do draft opens a long, long time ago. Uh, Dovin's is not very good, unfortunately. It's a cool card, but it's just not a very good Magic card. All right, we're coming in. Do I get to pull some more lands out of my deck? No. All right. Doing work. That is a lot of cards they have. They have six cards in hand and three insights in the graveyard. All right, there's the fairy. And with GPs, there's just a huge amount of uncertainty as to what pro points actually mean. They're very, they weren't they weren't very good anyway. All right, so we're gonna. I guess we're attacking them no matter what anyway. If they better settle. We're probably in big trouble, but. Ooh. 
Wet Weenies. I like Wet Weenies. That's a good name. All the cards in the world. Moist Weenies? Nah, I think it's Wet Weenies. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna bring in Stroke, the Negates, and, like, a couple of Ajani's, cut Deputies, go down to, like, two Tribunals, and we can cut the snub dub dubs Critical Mass, not a super easy thing to do. I actually like to leave three Tribunals in, because they have, uh, they often have, uh, like, Nibizit or stuff like that. I wanted a Johnny over one venerated Loxodon. Actually, no, uh, over Marshall. Marshall dies to Deafening Clarion pretty badly. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Moist Meanies. Mr. Bravado, seven month resub. Welcome back, my friend. Moist Meanies is nice, though. Ugh. We're gonna keep. Triple one drop, Venerated locks it on. One of our best cards on the draw with a blue source. I'm just gonna keep. We draw one land, this hand is quite good. That's not a land, but that's okay. Now we have Bodyguard, too, which just makes us uh, less soft to Wrath effects, which is great. Kind of tilt. We go bodyguard. Tilt. Um, I think we're in for. Just play a Scar Marcher Aspirant. Fine by me. You want to cancel my one drop? It's all you, my friend. Savannah Lions for days. For days. Abzan mid range. Um, I think the presence of of Hydroid Crisis means that any non Hydroid Crisis mid range deck can never win. It's not the answer you probably want to hear, but I you can't play Abzan and not play Krasis. Krasis is just the ultimate mid-range card. Alright, so we'll just ship our witnesses here. If they have another Clarion or Wrath of God, we should get more tokens back. Um... Let's do our thing here. Negate's pretty nice. Uh, can't leave up Negate and cast other stuff too, though. Uh, we'll just Legion's Landing here. They might counter it, but I think it's fine. Stu! Tsunami, nine month. Sub baby! Stu, name our baby. Ooh, we get to flip it too? That's insane. Now our Negate's available too. July. Oh, that was lucky. We should reach tribunal. Uh, I think I actually want to size up with Loxodon first. Just leave up the gate. Play Loxodon. No attacks. A sub baby. Stew is nine month uh, resub. Whenever we get. Someone hits nine months on their resubscription, then uh, they get to have a get to name a sub baby. Sabotage! You are going to regret that, my friend. That is fine. Um. Well, now I just killed him, right? 
They block here, take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're just dead, okay. Works for me. Violet? Sure. Alright, so easy first match there. Cool. Going up two notches. Feels nice. We got a booster pack. Ooh. Who wants to open a booster pack? Everyone loves opening booster packs. Who wants to open this booster pack? This booster pack is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, your number one choice for all your online gaming needs. Board games, card games, miniatures, supplies. Use promo code JIM5, 5% off your next order. Ultimate Masters, Ravnica Legion, saw on there. CoolStuffInc.com, again, JIM5. Check out my videos every Monday and my articles every Friday on CoolStuffInc.com. Booster pack. Survey says... Rampage of the Clans. Back in. Match number two with our White Weenie deck. I feel like this best of three is going to go much, much better. Uh, much, much faster. Our opponent's Mythic? What is this? We're a, me a mere Platinum 4. Kai is actually very good. Holy crap. 30 almost to three years. Here's to 30 more. Coral, you the bomb. Yeah, Sabotage is not castable in this deck. No one drop, tilt. Lifelink happens at the same time as damage. Right, our hand is a little slow here. Moist meanies, please. Adonis climb, sure. Sendy, and have you seen any of my, my decks in the, in the past two weeks? I love Angrath. Angrath Metal. It's literally my cover photo on Twitter is literally me holding an Angrath. So yes, I like Angrath. Follow me on Twitter, at MTG. It's me me holding an Angrath. Or me, I'm not holding the Angrath. Nick is holding the an Angrath, and I'm giving the metal face. Angrath's great. Angrath's a very, very good card against... Uh, against what's it called? All right, so... We gotta hit their Druid here, because... Uh, can't let them have six mana. I don't really care about them flipping uh, Adonis Climb. Goober! Didn't I have this sub anniversary yesterday? Oh well, let's celebrate again, I guess. Sweet! Goober, welcome back again. No problem, Sendian. Happy to have you back. Welcome back. Alright, I mean, Girl Chamber Guardian's good, but we're going to go pretty big here pretty quick. snub dub dub That's a pretty good draw. Just another one drop to cast. Um, I think we history here. Which makes our Loxodon better next turn. A very a very payoffy hand. All the top end stuff for the most part. Alright, Grow Chamber Guardian. Gross. So I get to make some four force. We're gonna make some like ten tens and kill them. That's our plan.
So Donna Slime doubles power, so we need to be aware of it. They can 10 us, which is fine. We're pretty close to City's Blessing. We have Loxodon. We're in pretty good shape here. We're going to do it again. That was a good draw, also. Alright, so City's Blessing's on. Um, we're going to play a bunch of stuff and go for the big attack next turn. We're going to Marshal. And then we're going to Sky Marcher. And then we're going to Venerate and Locks it on some stuff. We want bigger Vanguard, bigger Flyer, bigger Snubhorn. The Knights are going to have 5 power next turn anyway. Um, so a Marshal. I guess Deputy. Plus, plus one, plus one from this next turn. We're going to have a huge attack next turn. Jeez. And then, I guess the other Marshal, just to keep it protected. They attack us next turn. We have pretty good blocks. This is fun. Ken! Six month resub, welcome back. Has it been that long? I mean they're not playing black because they don't have finality. They're just like the blue green Adonis Climb deck. And they can play some trump blockers. Worst case scenario, we can leave back our Sky Marcher to block this thing if we need to. If they try and like 10 us over two turns, we have a blocker at least, so. We are attacking for so much damage next turn. Or is there, Jesus. Alright, um. They can't activate it on his climb. Maybe we don't want to act, attack with Deputy, actually, because just they could just kill it, theoretically. That one's in. Yeah, I think we're going getting pretty frisky here. We're sending it everything but the Deputy. Deputy have to be blocked by two creatures. Maybe, actually, maybe they'll all just come in. Oh, they're, they're, they're 12. I didn't even notice that they were 12. I didn't realize they were so close to dead. Yep. I just, I just, in my head, they were a 20 for some reason. I, don't, I didn't, just didn't even look. They're dead. Um, Alright, so we're going to want these baffling ends to deal with their sneaky little creatures. They don't have any removal, which is great for us. Which makes our deputies actually good against them. Deputies usually just not very good. Hunter Witness can go. It's not really good in these uh, these creature-y, no removal-y matchups. Um, I guess... Are they playing like the Jade Light Ranger package? Yeah, yeah, they, they are. So we actually want these Honor Guards too. Uh, usually when the Honor Guards come in, the the Johnnies come in, but Johnny doesn't seem very good versus them. Uh, so in that case, we're going to cut the deputies. And we can shave a Tribunal or two. Actually, we'll shave, we'll shave one. Usually when I shave Loxodon against Skolgari, it's because I'm bringing in a Johnny though. Alright, let's shave... A locks it on a tribunal, and I'm bringing one to Johnny. I think I like this. Benoist Marshall Tron. Random question. If I could have a color shifted version of a card printed in standard, what card would it be and what new color? That's a very deep question. Double Glacial Fortress. Our hand is really good. I'm going to keep. We draw any land that has a land type over our first two turns, our hand is insane. Jim Even if we don't. Cumulative is cool and all. But now I'm at 28 months instead of 22, so I miss my two year anniversary. Jim Do MG. Curzon! We still love you, my friend. You had the two year anniversary. We had it, we had it in our hearts. I'm just gonna keep this. I'm a loose goose. 
This is sort of like a, a one land hand that like still has two lands. Where like even if we don't draw a land, we can still cast two drops and stuff. Alright, well we didn't do it. Uh which is bad, but See so, yeah, it was a new thing on Twitch where it keeps your stuff your sub cumulative even if you missed uh if you missed a month, they keep you going. It's like the total number of months you've subscribed overall, not cumulative, I think. Or something like that. Alright, well, there's our land. Yeah, start playing histories. But them not having, like, fine finality or, or rem removal, we can overpower this pretty easily with all of our marshals and histories and stuff. Hard event, new sub, what's your name, where you're from, welcome my friend. Alright, land there is good. Playing histories. Make a bunch of stuff. Breeding pool, sure. Incubation. This just feels like a really bad salt eye deck. Like, I'm just like not scared of any the, the removal spells of any. Oh man, I guess it's it's a it's a one for one, whatever. Sure. And they're not even gonna try to attack. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now I've got four threes, so I could I could smash and just flip the landing. If we do that, we can cast another marshal. Just tag with all of these. We'll lose one token, but we'll flip landing. I should not. We'll lose two because they'll block with the jade light. Also, uh, clears the board pretty nice though. Um, so I would lose two knights. Flip land. Eh, let me just wait. Let's play Dondo Vanguard as they go. The better attack next turn. How did you get here? We entered a yeah. <laughs> next turn's a monster attack. Yeah, best 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 of three ranked is awesome. I'm already having a great time. Zingana Utopia Speaker. Alright, so just draw a card, right? Whatever. Alright. You have stuff. I have bigger stuff. Oh boy. Alright, so. So Donda Vegar can't get in anymore, but all of these knights can. It's just a follow. It's a follow animation. It's good though, right? Yes. Tournament practice for standard can now be on arena. Once you're in mythic best of three, it seems like it's very competitive. <laughs> Don't tempt me, ninja. Deck needs more hydroid process. All right. So they take a million. We lose some knights, they lose some stuff. Now we play a venerated Loxodon, and I want to make. 
So the marshals are four fours. Make them five fives. They actually have pretty good attacks. Yeah, let's go here, here, here. A four four life figure doesn't really matter, I suppose. I guess it does attack through these things. Yeah, sure, let's do that. And then that. You're pretty far ahead here. Mm -hmm. Complicates things a little bit, but Crisis on top, but they only have six mana, so whatever. Math is for blockers. What's up, Derek? Thanks for the reset. Appreciate it. I mean, we just. I mean, they're going to be at twenty-one now. That's pretty bad. Because they can one-shot us with the the walker next turn. Alright, you might, might actually be dead. Alright, well, we're going to make a pretty big attack here. We're going to attack with basically everything. Uh, we gain four, go to seventeen. This is fourteen, but these all have trample, and this can be an eight-eight. I can't do. I can't make this an eight-eight and do this. This doesn't have trample either. Yeah, we're just gonna slam for a million here, and I don't know if they die or not, but their blocks don't seem great. Yeah, just slam. Thinking's lame. We have three baffling and two tribunal in our deck right now, or post sideboard. We are not paying for life, because that would kill us. This is 4, 8, 12, 8, 40, 50, 60, that's 17. So they go to 4, we kill almost everything, and they can't kill. They can't one shot us with Walker, and we kill them next turn. So this is all great. They go to 4, all those things die, and we say go. Does Ross actually have a degree in mathematics? I believe so. So he says, at least. Alright, that is, that is 14. That's an incubation druid. You're dead. Alright, 2-0 oh so far. Definitely liking the best of 3 grind, but having the best of 1 grind. No lies. Alright. So if you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Again, we're playing this deck. This is the deck I played in Baltimore last weekend. Uh, deck's very, very good. We're 2-0. We're playing five matches on the rat on the ladder with uh, a bunch of different decks today. Five matches with each deck, and we're going to change. We're 2-0 so far. Um, we're back on the ladder grind, trying to get to Mythic, and then we'll see if we're going to take a shot at the Mythic Invitational. Um, yeah, if you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button, of course. Watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Uh, Deputy is not that good. It's only okay, but it's a nice catch-all. You don't start at bronze. You start at platinum four. Um, whatever your rank was, they like drop you down a number of levels. So if you were like, if you were platinum, now you're back in like silver. If you're mythic, now you're back in platinum four, etc. Good games, my friend. Marshall, 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 Marshall. Hmm. Well, that's not really a card, but sure. Wet weenies. Another giveaway. Sonic's been giving away tons of uh, pre-release free draft codes in chat. You can type in wet weenies in chat for your chance to win a pre-release code. It's actually pretty annoying. Uh, their hand here is not bad. And we are on the draw with a kind of slow hand. I mean, I'll pay for a life. I think we're going to be a little defensive here. Because they mulliganed. We have two tribunals. We're not going to attack, so... Oh, 
One code per account. So if, you've, if you've already used the code in your account, please don't enter. And if you enter, give it to someone else. Alright, so we're going to make some blocks here. Nope. <laughs> Probably have it pay for a life on defense. Nope, they don't, they're not interested in the uninterested in attacks. Okay. Don't have venerated locks it on. If their last card's venerated locks it on, we could be in trouble. Whew, it's a planes, thank god. Kim, what's up my friend? Yeah, I'm feeling better today. I was I was just burned out yesterday. Yesterday I streamed for a little bit, but I I was I've been sick for the last few days and I was exhausted from the weekend and I just wasn't feeling very well. So I called it called it an early stream. Now I'm recharged and ready to go today. Alright, well they have a bunch of weenies and I have a four four. Plenty more where that came from, so and they are coming in. Making a token. So why locks it on over Marshall? So the problem with Loxodon is that your, your creatures are tapped. So you can't attack with them or block with them. So you want, usually want to do it as early as possible. Um, it's all about just figuring out what your Convoke's going to look like. So if I, if I marshal this turn, I can't play Loxodon. Then I'm playing Loxodon the next turn, all my stuff is already tapped. So typically you want to get Loxodon out earlier. Usually you want Loxodon early, marshal late, because marshal affects the board immediately, and all your stuff can attack too. So... Um, we're just gonna lock it on again. Set up for a huge attack next turn. Now we have a lethal board. Basically, they can't even attack all out. Really, they just die. That was a very good draw. Still only. Eight damage coming through though if they attack. They're very dry weenies over there. Adi, five month resub, welcome back. All right, so we're definitely gonna hit their marshal. Question is, do I want to play history and, and convoke? It just puts more stuff in play. I think I want to. So. This is a worse attack, but. It's not going in the way. And. I think we're going to tap the Vanguard. This will leave me with no blockers. But, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They still can't kill me next turn if they draw to their marshal, which would be very lucky. And we're setting up for lethal next turn. Yeah, I'm not paying for life, so this is fine. We block like this, we talk about this, they probably block up both Hunter Witnesses. Which is fine, I guess. I kinda wanna leave back one blocker, honestly. Just makes their att their attack backs worse. Yeah, I'm gonna leave back one. We're so far ahead, like. The, if, if we attack up both big things, they, they just block with both witnesses, and they still have their full attack force, and they can gain some life too. I'll we'll just keep one back just to deter attacks. We're just gonna kill them next turn anyway, so. Yeah, Aspirin's great. Savannah Lines is already fine. And then having it get flying in the mid-game is awesome.
Well, they have made a token. Now what? History, sure. So, we have an extra blocker, we can tribunal something. It isn't even worth it, we attack with everything. I guess we could like hit something so they can't kill my marshal. Yeah, it's fine. This is not paired with anything. Doesn't really matter, we're just dead. Yes, playing Jessica would be made way too many colors. Doesn't really matter. Uh, vampires are not very competitive in standard, no. Space Jam. You're all scrubs! M on 3 sub, welcome back, my friend. When's modern well Modern? I'll play some modern. I have another standard event coming up. I'll be at SCG Dallas this weekend playing more standard. Try and improve on my ninth place finish from Baltimore last weekend. Um hopefully I'll see you all there. Who's going to who's going to SCG Dallas Fort Worth? Who am I gonna see there? How do you feel about weenies against other aggressive decks? Usually pretty good. You size up pretty well. Blazing sound! Risa! I notified you yesterday, but I figured I can harass you some more, Kappa. Kappa! Doesn't Baffling in just enable them to upgrade their weenies? Surely they play Tribunal. I mean, think about that. So, they play a creature. I kill a Baffling in, it's gone. They use Tribunal. To kill my baffling end, they get a 3 3. So they've spent two cards to get a 3 3, and I've spent one card. That's fine. It's not a big deal. And we're only going to be baffling ending the really good creatures, so. Ooh. Mulligan. Alright. Deputy's very good in the mirror. It's the one. It's so good! And Sky, 11 months, welcome back. We can't keep this, unfortunately. It's a very important card, but we obviously need to draw land, so... Alright, so we're gonna, we're, we're gonna play Hunter Witness here. Just invalidates their creature. We're obviously a little bit on the defensive, we only have one land and we have some bigger spells too. They're definitely the beatdown deck, we're definitely the control deck. Speaking of such, they, they left in their Adonda Vanguard, so they are definitely on the plan. Nah, John and Nicole won't be in Dallas. Alright, well... We do venerate locks it on, which isn't even the worst. Ladder is best of three or best of one, it's your choice. When you play best of three, each win gives you uh, two notches on your your rank up thing, best of one is only one notch. Alright, we gotta draw some lands and we're gonna die really fast here. That is not a land. Alright, well... Double history. All right, we're dead. I guess we have deputy attention, but we need to draw running lands. 
If you go two one, you only get one notch. Are you sure? That is not my understanding. We're about to find out because we're not going to win this game. So they have played every card in their hand by turn four. They have double history. So all right. I mean, we are dead. We take four, eight, twelve next turn. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. I mean, we kept the one lander to draw lands. Fine. Yeah, it's always up or down two, which is the way it should be. So, all right, it's obviously a frustrating game there, which didn't draw any lands, but it's fine. Uh, just run it back. Deputy of Detention is very, very good in the mirror because you're able to knock out all of the history tokens. If we had just drawn lands that game, we probably would have won easily. Come on. I mean, we just can't keep a one-lander again. Last time we were mulligan to six on the draw, now we're on the play, we just can't keep this end. Alright, this is fine. snib dub dub I had an opponent uh, in the open who was playing the mirror, and they went turn one snubhorn, and I went snub dub dub And I was like, what did you say? And like, oh, nothing. And I'm like, no, what did you say? And they're like, I said snub dub dub And I was like, that's what I say when I play snubhorn. That's funny. Alright, so... We gotta draw some spells here. We need some sort of, like, big payoff-style card. Uh, history... Benoist Marshall, something. But I have no article on this deck yet, no. Sure. That was a good draw. Now we're rocking. You could have its act. No, we have a landing next turn, so we're not gonna attack with our vampire yet. <sighs> Invoke the divine. Well, that is a magic card my opponent just played. Invoke the Divine. Alright, um... We're pretty tribunaled up here. We have... Five, six, seven, eight permanents? Tilt. That sucks, then we're gonna lose a permanent next turn. We could play Baffling End and Tribunal and just clear the board and make our Stumphorn bigger and set up for a big attack next turn. <clears throat> yeah, I think I actually like that. It's pretty aggressive, but... We still have one kill spell left over anyway, so... This is our... Right, 5, 10, yeah. Snub it up, dub. So the next turn we have 4, 8, 9, 10. We're talking for 12 with our removal spell in our hand. Feels pretty good. Their own history of Benalia. And another tribunal? Alright, sure. Alright, so first we're going to slam... I think we're gonna we're gonna tribunal their history. I don't really like Thank doing that, but me to go on my own journey. Here I come. Trap! Have fun, my friend. Godspeed. I suppose this is bad if they have a way to kill it. Like we could just hit the token. You know what? Let's just hit the token. Because if, they, if, we hit, if we hit history and they kill my tribunal and get their history back, it's just another token. 
And it, it could happen mid-combat with Invoke the Divine and stuff, it's super awkward, so. I wish that the lands on Arena, when you moused over it, the thing just popped up, so it was a one-click thing. That's a good amount of stuff. I don't want to just like trade stuff off here. I think we need to try. We draw way too many tribunals this game. Uh, they only have one card left. Ugh. Lord Draken, they're, they're a little sticky at first. You just gotta wear them in. After like a game or a few games, they uh, they they soften up real nice. Like I should just mouse over the land, and this dialogue should pop up immediately. So it should be one click. All these tribunals are just kind of tilting me, but it's fine. I'm trying to keep them off flipping landing, keep their board clear. Unfortunately, like these tribunals are just not really doing much. It's a very interesting block. Okay. I should just play the land tap to draw Johnny, but. We have a million good draws here, like... Sure. Oh my god, take it easy, opponent. Jeez. Alright. Um, so they have history going off next turn, too? Jeez. I think we need to attack. Trying to do some blocks here. We can't, as we defensively, they just have huge creatures for the next two turns. Yeah, we gotta attack. Sagas should be legendary, change my mind. Eh. Yeah, some way to auto yield the triggers would also be good. Alright, so this is fine. I don't mind trading off here. Because they're. Creatures will be very, very hard to block next turn. So, this puts them to five. They can't flip landing. We play our own history. I actually should have played this Hollow Fountain Tap. I probably should have last turn. It's pretty clear it's just not a relevant card at this point. Pretty lights. What's up, my friend? Good morning. A saga is just a book. You write multiple copies. Well, do they have the printing press in uh, the world of magic? Alright, uh, I think we're gonna block. So here there's five. We take eight here, then we get to attack back. They have to, they can just go to one. I'm gonna block. I still wanna keep them off landing. Oh god, look who's here. Do you need anything from the store? I'm stopping at the store before work. Oh no. What about y'all? Y'all need something from the store? Anybody need anything? Is there a tribunal? It's super awkward. Now we're like behind because she loses this game. Super crackers or waffles. God damn it. Some tomatoes. Milk. Oh, there's a whole box of nerds rope. Some nerds rope. <laughs> Too much nerds rope. Gatorade. We actually have a lot of Gatorade here. If you would like some Gatorade, you can come by. We have like two cases of Gatorade. Alright, so... Quesadillas. We're in top deck war, and they're ahead with one knight in play. Pomegranate. 
pomegranate. Don't play a spell here, please. Oh my god. Oh god. I can't remember all this. Yeah, Jim never invites me to stream with him anymore. We're gonna stream this week. He said... I'm not gonna tell you what he said. What did I say? Well, I'm not gonna tell. Yeah. Well, Nicole and I are playing, uh... We're doing a stream later this week. Yes. Because Nicole needs to get practice for her tournament this weekend. Yes. Nicole is playing in a... In a 1K on Saturday. A modern 1K. I am. I'm gonna crush the earth. Yes. Nicole is going to crush the earth. <laughs> there, are, there. I know there are planes with scribes. Yeah, I, I doubt there's a printing press. Sky Marcher Aspirant is a good card like to draw. This. Hi, Ken. Thanks. Thanks, Bear. Gatorade. Alright, it's time to go to work. I'm gonna be late. It's Gotta go to work. Store. Work all day. Oh, Nicole likes underpants, yeah. What? Gotta go to work. Work all day. So I gotta go get some underpants? Is that what you're asking for? Underpants! Oh, Johnny. I'll be in chat. Oh, Johnny, don't hurt him. Um, what's Johnny gonna do? <laughs> I think we're trying to snow dub dub. Worst case scenario, they draw like a Benoish Marshall. Uh, I think just pumping up our stuff is fine. I actually want to pump up the the Life Linker, not the Sky Marcher, because putting them to one doesn't make a difference. Or I can return snub -a dub snub -a dubs a, a four four. Yeah, eh, just do that. Just another blocker. Phase one, collect underpants. Phase two. Phase three is profit. We know lots about big business. Dauntless Bodyguard is not the winning card. I'm sorry, my friend. You get marched on. The Desperation Attack. Well, we are going to make some blocks and ensure, ensure we don't die here to, like, Conqueror's Pledge or something. Uh, here and here. Don't think they're doing seven damage with one creature. I think this is fine. New South Parks, whatever. I think that I'm of the mind that artistic endeavors should be should be locked down to a certain time frame. Like, bands should have an X album limit. Um, so we gotta play on, like, Settle, maybe? Or Seal Away or something? We'll attack with just, uh... Just Aspirin, I guess. I'll finish my thought in a second. Hey! Big brain. Alright, well I guess we'll keep playing. Um, I think that, like, bands, TV shows, uh... That was a good draw. Alright. That was a really good draw. All right, we gotta focus on our game here. I'm trying to trying to make a, a point about art here and stuff, but can I get a witness? Mm. I wanna bump this snub a dub dub up in case they draw another marshal. Like it's like it's still blocked the first strikers. Strong. 
So yeah, so um, when something goes on for when something, when something lingers for too long, it just loses its its magic. Bands also like if a band's a band for twenty years, like they change a lot over that twenty years. You know, they don't even sound like the same band anymore. I think bands should have like a three album limit. TV shows should have like a six season limit. You know, where you're forced to just make something new. Like, if the members of the band want to keep playing together, they just start a new band. Like, the Mars Volta at the drive-in. Simple as that. Were they tapped out that turn? I didn't even notice they were tapped out or not. I didn't actually think they had Subtle. I was just riffing. But... Pyro Jack, resub. Alright, they took a Johnny? Sure. Yes, after a band has had uh, three albums, they have to forcibly disband, correct? Well, now they're dead, so that's good for us. Good draw. Or they're executed. No, but Mr., that's the whole point. It is embracing change. It's trying to keep things from being stagnant and not allowing the a band to just sit around and release the same album over and over and over again. I could have I hit, hit, hit the tribunal, see that would be pretty sweet, but I guess just killing them is better, so... All the creatures were tapped? Alright, sure, yeah, I should, have, I should have attacked the other way then. The whole point is to not be stagnant and do the same thing over and over and over again. Well, that was easy. Alright, moving on up. Games are different, but... Alright, we are 3-0 with our white weenie deck. Roast Stomp, but like, the thing is, like, look, like, look at like Radiohead. Their first few albums are like very simple rock albums. I don't really like those albums. And their middle albums are like Kid A and Amnesiac. Beautiful pieces of art, sounds like a totally different band. But the problem is, people who like Kid A don't like the old band. People like the old band don't like Kid A. And now you have like, tension in the fan base and stuff, and... I don't know. We got a winner for the giveaway in chat, it's cool. Yeah, like, like the X Files going to their their ninth season now that now they've rebooted it, you know, like, just too much. All right, not a great draw there. All right. We have a little bit of a, a bigger hand here. Alright, we are in trouble. If they're allowed to get out ahead of us with a Drake, that means we're usually in big trouble. Usually a very good matchup, but we mulligan. I mean, we, we have to kind of lose hand here. Thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed, just hit that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. They've been to shock. Okay. And no attack. Interesting. Well, we are going to slam our marshal here. Now, the problem is they have a dive down. Yeah, we actually can't attack into dive down. And they have five spells in hand. I don't think we can actually attack here. Um... If we attack, they dive down, they'll have a 4 7, and our creature just dies, which is terrible for us. So, I think we're just going to play. Place that we have that was 7 permanents, that's 8 9. Yeah, let's play Snub Dub. Games are different. Um, I don't think games apply super well to my my idea here. I think music is the biggest one. So many bands just like, they just float and release the same album for 20 years and it's like, alright, you know. Or they change drastically and everyone gets pissed off. So like, just start a new band. You know. People wouldn't be pissed off if it was like the new band. I guess this isn't that bad. At least Dive Down's off the table now so we can just play stuff and then 
Tribunal this, uh, this Drake. That was a really good draw. Thomas, new sub. Thomas from Norway. Playing since Return to Ravnica. Don't have a favorite card. Love and play Esper Mill. Puppy name is Karn. Thanks, Thomas. Appreciate that. This is fantastic for us. People, well, people are always pissed off, but... Ooh. Can't cast Crackling Drake with that mana. Lava Coil, sure. And now we're flipping our... Our landing, too. Oh, God, yeah. Hammer, don't hurt him. So we have two untapped creatures... Yeah, works for me. Pretty good matchup here. But yeah, the problem is like things when things are young and fresh and exciting, there's a, a danger to them, you know? But when NoFX releases their like nineteenth album of the same ten songs, like there's no danger anymore. It's not exciting, it's not fun, you know? And the thing is like even for bands that I like. You know, like, I don't let the bands, like, get back together. Like, At The Driving got back together re released a new album. Like, it's fine. It's not a bad album. It just lacks energy. It lacks the heart and soul that their older stuff had. Because they're not young, excited kids anymore. They're just, like, doing the same thing, you know? Deftones are like that, too. There's a lot of bands that are like that. Where their, their later material isn't bad. It just lacks life and vitality. Alright, um... I want some of our baffling ends. Deputy's bad. It's really not. Really won't want much here, honestly. I don't think the newest Add the Driving album is good. It's fine, but it just it just isn't. Obviously, I've changed too, but like Relationship of, of Command is like one of the best albums ever, you know. And this new album is like it's fine. It's not bad. The new Glass Jar album is kind of like that too, honestly. Pretty Lights. No, I got it. Deck Tech's good. We'll do it after this leak. Right after this. Got it right here. $10 Deck Tech coming up. Uh, Alright, so... This is... I guess this is fine. Now, Death Downs has just released a number of albums in the last few years, and they're all fine, but they're not, like, great. You know, like, and I get it. I mean, they can just release a new album and make a lot of money so they can eat, but... Our second Glacial Fortress pair of the uh, stream. It's fine, that will keep us on the draw with the scribe. Yeah, we just need to land. They should just put everyone who's over 30 years old on a remote island with no return. Sure. Works for me. All right, they're playing the Raptor Hatchling, so I'm, I'm gonna want that third copy of a uh, of Baffling End. The problem is you never know how many Drakes they're playing. There you go, Baffling End. Uh, they have a dive down here. It's a disaster. I think we're gonna. Hmm. This is gonna get like dived. I mean, I, I just don't think that we play Marshall, and I guess they have the lava coil. Then, all right, let's play Marshall and just say go. We'll see. We'll see what they do. I guess. 
We could just also attack. But if they have a dive down, again, same thing. They can dive down, get a 3-3 three, three for free, and block something. Maybe we just cast Tribunal, actually. Actually, yeah, I like that. This is the most mana positive play. Yeah, I like, I guess I like I don't want to attack, really. Just cast this. They have, they have dive down. Great. They use it now. We, we baffle again later. Cool. Crack away and break. Okay. That's fine. So now you get to attack for a million. It's a little unfortunate that we didn't draw some sort of spell there, but... They block this, take a bajillion damage. The problem is that bands don't want to lose their name. So if a, if a popular band, after three albums, wants to do some new stuff, if they start a new band name, no one will know who they are. So they just keep playing under the same band name. Like The Strokes, you know? The Strokes' newer albums are more like... They're not like, you know, guitar, garage, rock albums. But if they change their name, then they would not get not sell as many albums and stuff. So it's like the the commercialism of it obviously kind of ruins it. But whatever. Crackling Drake again. Okay. They have a spell here. Things get really awkward. Another Legion's Landing. So they have like they can't they can't have shock. So worst case is dive down. No, deputy is not better than reinforcements. The sideboard counter spells are better than anything red has. I don't think an attack all here is realistic. Um, we have to, we attack all and they have any spell. Now they have two two fours. They can like double block and kill something. This is kind of a, a rough spot, honestly. We take with just a four four and they have dive down, it's bad. Alright, maybe I'll take with just a four four. Alright, cool. Works for me. Alright, so we'll just play everything, make more tokens. So right now our marshal is our most important card. If they're able to kill this, things get awkward. Okay. Horned Turtle Express. Oh, oops. My priority, sorry. I still think the arena doesn't clearly tell you, doesn't show you clearly enough who has priority, but... I mean... We attack all here and they go to one. If they have any removal spell, things get really dicey. I just talk about snub, snub a dub again. They didn't have it last turn, so. All right, that's that's crazy to me, but sure. Yeah, so Dante is, is, is a legendary land. They scry to the... I missed it. What's up, whale? Oh my god. So many drakes! I mean... I think they're pretty dead. We can kill them through a shock, right? 
Yeah, they're just dead. Shrug. Is there a, a blue fog I'm unaware of? Dante was pretty great, not gonna lie. Alright. 4 0 with White Weenie on our There and Back Again. A Mythic Tale by Jim Davis. Ah, oh, Booster Pack. Who wants to open a Booster Pack? Raise your hand in chat. And I remind everyone this Booster Pack is brought to you by BCW Supplies. BCW, BCW Supplies, the new Deck Guard Elite 2 sleeves are out there. Awesome. They're. However good the Elites were, the Elite 2s are even better, but a little bit taller. They have the blackout opaqueness, and they shuffle real, real nice. Check them out, the new BCW Elite 2 sleeves. Use my code JIM10 for 10% off your order on bcwsupplies.com. Boost your back. Let's go. Hands up. Ooh. Ideal open there in a Mythic Wild card. We're 4 now. Let's go for 5 and 0 with our White Weenie deck. Check out the link for the uh, the BCW Elite Twos right in chat. Thanks, Sonic. Appreciate that. Take tone. Pride of Conquerors is a very polarizing card. It's good if your opponent isn't doing anything, but it's bad against fogs, bad against removal, and it's bad against blockers. So it's usually not very good. Ooh. All right. Well, we've got snub -a dub dub Our hand is not particularly great against uh, Goblin Chain Roller and friends, but um, I think we're going to Sky Marcher here first, actually. If they want to use a Shock on it, it's fine. And I want to trade off my, my one Toughness creatures early if I can. If I block with Snubhub and they Shock it, it feels kind of bad. Let's try and make them use their spells first. Alright, cool. Looks like they're on a one lander. Okay. So Danto Vanguard is not particularly great, but definitely want to produce a creature, something that can block this. Let's just. Snub it up, bodyguard, I guess. We really want our, like, History Banalia style cards in this matchup. That's bad, they drew a land. Fountain's awkward. Alright. Snub a dub, no! That's bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna play this tapped. I don't wanna play Bodyguard to get blown out by Chain Roller. Oof, that was lucky. No spectacle, no nothing. Oof, Loxodon's also a good draw. Okay, let's swing. Venerated Loxodon was a very good draw. We're gonna shock and play both here. I'm not thrilled to shock, but they only have three cards in hand, we're at 15, so. Like, locks it on literally just being a 4-4 is pretty good here. I'll probably block if they attack. Sh 
Sure. No light up a stage. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, this is like pretty, uh, pretty good for us. I'm pretty fine making it on. Don't have to have tap two toughness, which is good. It's an actual attacker. Can't be blocked too easily. Lightning Strike at Danto Vanguard. One card left. Putting us to the test here. Do I want to pay four life? We're at 13. We have a 4-4, four, four, and they have one card left. Yeah, we're paying four life here. We need, we need things in play and things to do. So, we're at nine with a, with a good blocker and some good attackers, and they only have one card left. Yeah, so if they draw, if they have a risk factor, god damn it. That was the absolute worst case scenario of Adverse Factor. Alright. That works for me. Sure. How do you like my 4-4? Four -four? So now they waste turn playing Risk Factor. And we're going to let them draw, probably. Oh, this is an another risk factor? Alright, so they can draw. Nice. Alright. We're at five. They can definitely kill us, but hopefully they won't. God damn it. I mean, Risk Factor is like the one card that punishes us for paying two life there. Might have been wrong. It might have been wrong. Alright. Baffling ends are in. Honor Guards are in. Some number of a Johnny are in. Vanguards are out. Deputies are out. And... I want to cut some of the random two ones. Sky Marcher is the worst one. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Now we have more removal. More ways to push our lifelinkers through. I almost don't mind the third of Johnny, honestly. I'm just kind of sky marching for the third of Johnny. Right? Nah, actually, we're on the... We're on the no, we're on the play. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have pay, paid for life. I don't know. Ooh, sand's good. The sand is great. I really don't snub a dub. Use body bodyguard to protect things. Negate is not where you want to be. Thanks for following everyone. Dead. You have killed it. You didn't draw a land. That's kind of bad. We already have a tribunal in hand. But I don't think this lava runner really matters that much. Takali stops. It's, it stops uh, Biashano and it stops Chain Whirler and it's a 1 3, which is actually pretty good. I'm playing history here. Steam can's not gonna go that 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 crazy this turn. I want to get on the board here. It's pretty important. I don't think baffling ending a steam can here is absolutely necessary. Next turn we can do a lot more stuff. Cool. Oh yeah. Now nah, we're just rocking. 
another history. This is seven, eight, nine, ten, or wait, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's do this. History, city's blessing. Wait, let's act with a knight. Now we're feeling good. Gitu Lava Runner, you got it. Gitu Lava Runner, you got it. You have an army of one twos, and we're about to go to town. Scoop them up. We could flip Legion's Landing. And then play Marshall post combat. Eh. Seems a little unnecessary. Ah! It's not lethal. It's only nineteen. But all right. So uh, for game three, we're to, we're to board out one of Johnny for another Sky Marcher, just because I want to lower the curve a little bit on the draw. All right, going for 5-0 here with our blue-white deck. God, best of three. Best of three ladder is so much better than best of one ladder. Oh, yeah. We haven't lost a match yet. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. All right, this is pretty good for a six-card hand. Matchup is, uh, it's not great. I think it's fine. Steamkin. All right. Well, this is probably bad. They have, they have Chain Whirler. It's really devastating. Let me just hold on to our Legion's Landing. Honestly, we can cast it in the same turn. We cast Locks it on. Make sure it's two two. This Steamkin's gonna get really really bad for us pretty fast. Unfortunately, we just don't have an answer to it at the moment. Um. This feels real bad. Here's attack. I'm not blocking, so. Locks it on there is tough. All right, we got a tough turn here. We gotta we gotta survive the night here. It's gonna be hard. All right, that's not the worst. Only have two cards left. That fourth land's pretty good for us. That's bad. But we'll just draw a land here. They're gonna kill this probably. We make a token, we draw a land, we get to a landing Loxodon. They only have one card left. Oh my god, the third Loxodon! No! Why would you do this to me? We're so close! Now we're just dead. God, we just drew a land. We were so fine this turn. I mean, now we're just dead to like everything. We've lost our ability to to get ahead because all of our Loxodons are in our hand. 
We just can't play. We can't even play Loxodon anymore. Well, we're gonna play this and probably just die. Like now they have any lightning strike effects. That's the fifth land. All right. So now, like, do we double block? I guess we just take this and hope they're out of gas. All right. No blocks. All right. Eight. God, their last card. If it's risk, if it's risk factor, they would have cast it already. All right. So right. just hope I don't have anything. Locks it on. Marks their steam can. We're good. They just flooded. Thank God. They're at 14. We attack with everything they block here. And they have to chump. They take 9. We gain 3. Holy and then post combat, we get to play Sky Marcher and Tribunal. The Steam can get a mana too. Yeah, this is fine. What's up, Junkie? Thanks, my friend. Yeah, I'm feeling better today. Not feeling very good yesterday. Right, so you gain that precious three life. They're at five. And now you get to Aspirant. A shock or Marshall, sure. And he locks it on. And that's the game. They could frenzy us, I suppose. With Steamkin. That would require a pretty insane frenzy turn. I suppose tribunaling there to kill the Steamkin turns off their out of like the most insane frenzy ever. But Eliza well, like, don't even play Frenzy anymore. So Alright, fast progress here. We are five and zero today so far on our uh, there and back again, our quest back to Mythic. Best of three. Thank God for best of three. And, uh, yeah, White Weenie. This is the deck I play in Baltimore. I think it's really, really good. Went 5-0. I think it's an excellent choice to the format right now. Uh, just straightforward. People forgot about History of Benalia, you know? Forgot about History of Benalia. That's the deck. So, we're going to play a ton more decks today, but this YouTube video is going to end. Other decks on tap today are uh, Mono Blue Poopers, and Esper Control, a Gates deck, a Grixis Drake's deck with Thought Erasure is pretty cool. Lots of stuff on tap. Stay tuned for that. But uh, all you YouTube folks, I will see you fine folks later. So YouTube folks, check out other videos for those decks on YouTube. I'll see you later. Have a good one, YouTube.